And at last it's ready. I started it on the 2nd of December last year, 2017. And it's now the 11th of January and it's ready. The guy said about a month in the uh, in the recipe I followed, which is on t- YouTube. I followed something very close anyway to the uh, Make Mead Like a Viking video. But I just, you know, it's all natural stuff and I did my own little variant on it. So it took just over a month. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's about time to... Uh, Get some bottles and bottle it up. These are Gallon bottles. They're quite cheap. They're, I think they were cheaper than wine bottles. Uh, they're only half a litre, uh, which is better because I can't drink a whole bottle in two nights. You know, and it, uh, I want to be able to have this before it goes rank and not have to throw loads of it away. So I've got half litre bottles, 500 mil. It's gonna take nine of those to do the whole thing. Just bring some through there. And I'm pushing my siphon tube right down to the bottom of the bottle. I used to have a siphon tube with a tap in the middle. Well, two siphon tubes with a tap joining them. And uh, it was much quicker that way, but I've lost the other tube. So I've abandoned the tap altogether. I'm just pulling it out of the, uh, the damage on there. Not the best way to do it, but it just about works. Quite tricky to push those caps on. Uh, they come with uh, the kind of seal that when you then take the lid, the, when you then unscrew the cap, uh, it will actually break the seal, and you'll be able to see that that one's been opened. But it's quite difficult to get them on without that going wrong. <laughs> So we're about halfway down now. And it's the same old process. You can see I've got one or two bottles standing up on the towel at the back there. Towel is quite important actually because you do get splashes with this and it's it's horrible sticky stuff. I really wouldn't have wanted to get it on the carpet. But there we go, she's filling up again. It's lovely and clear, this. It cleared while it was fermenting. It was still fermenting and it was half clear. And by the time it had actually finished fermenting, it was almost clear. I just gave it another day or so. That's all it needed. So there we go, there's another one to go into the mix. It's going to be good to have nine of these. Sort of almost unlimited mead drinking for me, that. And of course, there's another, the same amount again. I don't know, I might actually put some of that in wine bottles and keep it because uh, this is much better if you keep it around to mature a bit. So I think I'll put the other one in uh, traditional wine bottles with corks and we'll just uh, see what happens. I'll have to develop a, a much bigger alcohol habit, no doubt. That's the, uh, the best thing to do. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> so we're getting through it now and we're getting through it good I've got the dish thing standing on top of a paint can there just to get the height right nearly done that damage on out now And there is a fine stack of mead. All done. Best to give it a while to mature, but I think I will have a little drink tonight of uh, one just to see what it's like, you know? Purely for scientific purposes, of course. (laughs) Well, thanks for joining me anyway. There goes the mead. Bye-bye.